Hey everybody, how is it going? I am hopping into the Blitz Pool playing against Bruno2003, who has an amazing 3-0 record against me. So let's see if I can beat this guy for the very first time. And against D4C4, you know we're going to be trying for the Wagon Gambit E5. This is my idea. And let's see if they're familiar with the wagon. It's been a while since I've made a video. Wait, this is a mistake, right? I think the opponent just missed my threat. He went in, he fell for it, the double attack. <laughs> it was so tempting, but I was threatening this move, bishop to b4, where now you can't block with the bishop. And if you go back with a knight, I assume just knight takes is the way that I win. Although it's, you know, it's obviously very complicated. And the other alternative is to go here and allow me to do this, but I'm confident that I'm better. Will I be able to piece it together, though? A seven-move little wagon gambit trap. Knight goes back, I take here, attacking the queen, threatening some sort of uh, discovery. So maybe they will take this, argue that nothing horrible is happening. <laughs> but I'll play knight e4, getting this king on the run. I gotta be a little bit careful, because um, this knight is now attacked... Um, so I want to close the queen in here. I'm going to be able to win that rook whenever I want. And we got this king on the hunt. Hmm. Ah, that's an interesting way of doing it. Okay, so I will take this way. Maybe I don't castle, but maybe I do. Ah, wait, that's quite clever. Or is it? Because at the end of the day... I have a lot of active pieces. A lot of active pieces. All of my pieces are in the game now. I'm attacking the queen, and come on. I can find a way <laughs> to make this all work out. The king has to go back. I mean, this one's a queen. <laughs> I mean, come on. If I can't find the checkmate, I'm going to take the queen. Let's go. A really quick win with the wagon gambits. Let's see if there was anything that we could have improved upon. And this actually is a very common trap that, uh, let's see how many people do fall for it. It's way down here. It's only 7% of the time that opponents will play here. But the big threat in this position, if I hit X, uh, I can say reveal my threat. I'm threatening bishop to b4 check, which would win the game on the spot. So after this move, ignore the fact that it's plus two, whatever. We're playing a little bit of fun chess here. You can play this move, and there's really nothing good uh, at all. You don't have time to... To move here, you don't have time to really block, you don't have time to move over, but this is the best of all of the bad options. Now, the opponent did decide to take this. Knight e4 is correct in the only winning move. This forces the king to come over. You cannot take this guy because you are in check. Now, you are in check yet again. Knight to c6, introducing the idea of knight to d4 comes on the board. Uh, they did try some interesting move, and had I already kind of foreseen this idea uh, I, that I could just take this, sacrifice this bishop, for example, and come out here knowing that there's absolutely going to have to be some sort of checkmate because come on, look at how many pieces I have active and near the king. Uh, I should have maybe been able to spot this idea a little bit earlier, but instead I played f6 after takes takes the opponent took, basically forcing me to find this idea. There was still a chance that they could go back and maybe cause me a little bit more problems, but after this I was basically forced to come up with the idea of now attacking the queen. The queen tried to run away, but after this there is in fact a checkmate so obviously now i can win the queen and that would win the game but uh the best move here is king to b1 after which taking the queen actually is the best although queen to f5 apparently also leads to a checkmate and i hope you like that get good at the wagon game i don't know somehow i just want to tell you to subscribe but i don't know how to do it anymore and i try to set up funny ways of asking you to subscribe but if you do do it it really would mean a lot to me don't let the the wheels fall off your wagon uh, uh, thank you see you for the next video